Hey guys, it's Connie. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have the OG SUV this week. This is the Jeep Grand Cherokee. But this isn't just any Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is the new plug-in hybrid, the 4xE version of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. We first saw this 4xE on the Wrangler and now on the best-selling uh, Grand Cherokee. And now we have it here on the Jeep Grand Cherokee as well. We have the Trailhawk trim. So it is trail rated. It has a sway bar disconnect. It has four wheel drive low. It is. It has tow hooks as you can see front and back. And it is fully off-road capable. I really wish I had some trails to hit up nearby or some Jeep friends to go Jeeping with. Of course we have the iconic seven slot grille. The uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee body style was completely redesigned for 2022, and this is the 2022. Again, the Trailhawk trim gets these cool blue, um, the blue Trailhawk badging on the front. We even have blue wrapped around the Jeep uh, badging here, and that blue is to represent the 4xE. We have the blue on the trail rated badging here as well. And then our E to uh, signify this is the four by E and this is our charge port here. Uh, again, with the blue around the Grand Cherokee badging. And we even get blue Willys Jeeps on all four wheels. It's kind of, a, it's kind of an Easter egg, uh, the, the blue Willys Jeep on all four wheels. Let's take it to the back. So we still have a really clean, design for the new Grand Cherokee design. It just looks a little bit more modern, a little bit more updated. I love how they kept the square shape. It is really, um, it's, it's really the original SUV. And again, you can see the 4xE badging in blue. Power liftgate is part of a premium package. And then we have a ton of space back here. You cannot get the new Jeep Grand Cherokee L, which is the three row version. You can't get it in a four by E or the plug-in hybrid. So if you want the plug-in hybrid, you gotta get the standard size Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, coming closer, I wanna show you a couple Easter eggs back here. We have a Willys Jeep on the driver's side window back glass. And then we have Jeep Grand Cherokee body styles along the uh, right side. As you can see, the back seat folds flat 60-40 split. We have manual window shades back here and uh, pockets and we have uh, vents for your rear passengers, which is always nice. Household plug, USB and USB-C and heated seats for your rear passengers, plus a little cup holder in the center console. And we have a panoramic sunroof in here, which is an option on the Grand Cherokee. We have a really nice interior in here. I've never been in a Jeep Grand Cherokee that doesn't have a beautiful interior. And up from this Trailhawk trim, you can go all the way up to a Summit and a Summit Reserve trim, which I've also been in, all with beautiful, beautiful interiors. This one has a lot of gloss black in it. And for only having just over 2,700 kilometers, I am surprised at how many scratches are on this gloss black. But as you can see, we have sway bar disconnect, we have four wheel drive low, we have all these different drive modes, rock, sand, mud, snow, and even sport mode. And then here is our air suspension. So there's a huge difference between this lowest level of getting in and out of the car to the highest level. There's a big, big difference. Hard touch buttons for the climate control, which I really appreciate. Heated and ventilated seats back up here and a heated steering wheel. Kind of quirky and cool. The passenger gets their own screen and there is an HDMI cable for it. Plus they can choose media and so forth, other things on that screen. I think one of the coolest things about that screen is the fact that I can't see it as the driver. I had my passenger turn it on and play with it while we were driving and I couldn't see that that screen was on or off. I couldn't tell. So that's actually a really good safety feature. So it keeps your driver from being distracted by it. This is of course the latest uh, Uconnect system from Jeep and we have a good size wireless Apple CarPlay on here, which I really appreciate, but we do still have two USB and USB-C cords or charging ports here, as well as an aux cable, a 12 volt, and then of course the HDMI that I mentioned, which is for that passenger screen. 
The gauge cluster is completely digital, which I like, and it is customizable as well. As you can see, or I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but the battery currently is at 64%, which is, I have 27 kilometers in pure electric range right now. I really do love PHEVs for their pure electric range combined with uh, a traditional gas powered engine. Okay, let's go for a drive. This 4xe is a turbo four cylinder plus electric motor getting a combination of 375 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. So it's got plenty of power, it can tow up to 6,000 pounds. It's an 8-speed automatic and it's comfortable to drive. I've always enjoyed driving the, the Grand Cherokee. I love that it has, it has air suspension. I can make it feel taller to go off-road or just to feel higher up on the road. Uh, if we had a big snowfall or something, it would be fun to drive this. This thing has crazy off-road tires on it as well. And it is comfortable to drive. It has a really nice interior, always has. I've always appreciated the Jeep Grand Cherokee and this new 4xe is no different. Fun fact, this 4xe will get you from zero to 60 miles per hour quicker than a Hemi V8 will. The Jeep Grand Cherokee starts at around $57,000 both in Canada and the US. This PHEV Trailhawk will set you back around $83,000 Canadian dollars or around $64,000 US dollars. And I'm going to say it again, this is the original SUV. This is probably the biggest selling SUV of all time in North America and it was probably the first one if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, what do you think? Is the Grand Cherokee on your list? Is this the ultimate family vehicle? Leave a question or a comment and don't forget to subscribe.